Okay. My name is Jennifer Lynch. Um, uh, this is my presentation video for Component 1 Writing and Critical Thinking. Um, how this class has changed me as a writer, as a person, as a future educator, and just talking about the importances of critical thinking and just how it's changed me. Let's see, so the Inquisitives. Um, the Inquisitives were really fun for me to do. I was able to do the quizzes without um, totally dreading it. So also I really found it helpful to my grades that you could always score 100 um, if you just kept on trying. So for some inquisitives, like it did take me a long time for me to complete them. So, cause I always wanted to score high, but I always made sure that I got a well enough grade and that was really helpful to me that you could always make a 100 as long as you just kept trying. Next, we have the lecture assignments. They were very interesting. Um, they also changed my perspective on a lot of real world situations. Um, so how does this change me as a person? Well, it's important to know the ways that other people are affected by things that I don't really experience on a day-to-day -day basis and see on a day-to-day -day, day -day basis, um, like many people do and experience in their own personal lives. So when I'm able to see the ways that people are affected and how their lives are altered, then I can be proactive towards change as well as educating others so that everyone um, can live comfortably, happily, and equally. So some examples of some lecture assignments that really have changed my perspectives um, and stood out to me were, and made me think more clear, were the lecture assignment when bias becomes the only story and poverty. So I wrote about um, when bias becomes the only story, it was about racism and how the nation needs to admit that there is a racism issue in order to change it and to solve it. Um, it made me like think more about it and it made me realize that you know the media can shape people's perspectives and opinions and then that also like your opinions and your perspective like really shows what you value in life and so a lot of people don't believe that there's a racism issue, which there is. And so that can, you know, really not be fair to everybody unless you, we can't change anything unless you really admit to it. So that made me realize that. And then I said, um, it also made me realize that stereotyping is the same as discrimination and discrimination can cause people to lose their jobs and that can ruin people's lives. And it ruins like society as well when people are losing their jobs, you know, it really doesn't just affect one person, it affects everybody. If everybody loses their job, you know, what are we gonna do? You know, so. Um, next is the lecture assignment about poverty. It made me realize the direct effects of COVID-19. So it really start, made me start thinking like, next time that you see that homeless person, like asking, sitting on the side of the road, asking for some spare change, asking for a meal. You know, a lot of people, you know, I've probably done this in the past, but a lot of people too, like just judge them and think, well, they put themselves in that situation. Well, we're really in a port point now and like this lecture center really helped me realize that, that this can happen to ever, anybody and everybody and it has happened to a lot of people. It's shut down a lot of businesses and you know, a lot of people are experiencing like job loss, homelessness, being on welfare. You know, a lot of people are experiencing all of this because um, of COVID and it's just really difficult. So it really has opened my eyes up and that has really made me, me more grateful as a person. So that's how that's changed me. And now next time I know, like, if I do have some spare change, then I'll, you know, give it to them and, you know, just try to be more grateful and humble about my situation and not judge other people for their situation. Next, the forums. They were definitely different because we watched a video and with most other forums for other classes, we didn't really watch a video for it. And so a lot of it was like a free response and which I liked because I felt like there was no wrong answers and only honest answers. Um, I like to see the other ways that my classmates thought about the topics or the videos being discussed and build my ideas off of that as well. The forums were very beneficial to me because it was kind of a lecture assignment that we all worked on together as a class and we got to discuss it and see how other people thought. So I really did like the forums. Um, the book They Say, I Say, it was very relevant in teaching me the correct way to be an effective writer and presenter. Um, anytime I had a question or needed help with my papers, I just could go look at the ebook and find out what I needed to know um, so that I can create an effective paper that would engage my audience. Um, and I scored well. So, 
becoming a future educator. I wrote, as I finish up this semester of college, I will be going into my sophomore year in the spring semester. I know it's not on time as most people will begin their like new year of college in the fall of semesters, but I had a light start. So when I graduate in three years and begin to teach children, I know I'm gonna use the skills that I have learned from this class as well as many other classes to effectively communicate with children and be a teacher that will make a difference in a child's life. Um, with being able to deconstruct ideas and topics, I can teach children to do the same as well so that they may make good choices and decisions by um, recognizing their behavior and actions and the way it affects their surroundings. So if I can think critically, I can teach other kids to think critically and be an example and show them, you know, the importance of thinking critically so that they can make good decisions, act like have good behavior and know that their actions, you know, make a difference. So thinking critically, have you ever wondered why it is important to think critically? It's important to think critically so that we can have a better understanding of our surroundings, circumstances and consequences so that we can be problem solvers as well as change makers. Um, this is what I put in my paper four. I put my critical thinking skills have definitely been enhanced by taking this course. I feel as if I'm able to think and evaluate more complex situations rather than I did before. So my writing skills, um, I put, I will be honest, I've always enjoyed writing. English classes have always been my strong suit, my best classes. But my writing skills were not immaculate. They were not perfect. Um, I have learned the proper ways to format my papers, especially my work side pages, which I will get to in a minute. I also used to start my paragraphs off with whatever I wanted, and I did not really have a steady flow throughout my paper when I would talk about my ideas. I would just jump from one topic to another without having a steady flow of ideas that connected to each other. And, you know, now I start my paragraphs with to begin with, and then you know, the next paragraph, you know, and just keep it going and then you know furthermore and next and stuff like that and rather than just starting off the paragraph with this is what I thought about it and I never connected my ideas as well as I did before I don't really think I even connected ideas I just went with went with what I had and I didn't make a flow out of it so I really have grown as a writer and um, it has helped me a lot so the next slide is just an example of what my papers used to look like this was a paper I did last semester um, this is not going to be the full paper. It's just going to be the work cited pa paper. So here it is. Here's a screenshot of it. So as you can see, I titled it references. I um, didn't. I I didn't put my last name up here. I just put the page number. I usually now I put you know Lynch three. My last name's Lynch, and then I put the YouTube um, link. I don't know. I didn't know how to format properly. And then, you know, I did the book and I didn't do it properly. So, and I did that like the whole semester. And that makes me embarrassed <laughs> how wrong it was. So then I talk about previously on that slide. I wrote, this is the paper I worked on last semester. As you could see in the previous slide, I put references instead of work cited, as well as putting the YouTube link I found in the paper and not citing the book correctly. Also, in the right-hand corner, I did number my pages, but I did not include my last name and the page numbers as I should have. I did all of my papers that way for the whole semester until now. Thanks, Ms. Cantwell, or Professor Cantwell. So, drafting revision process. The revision process of drafting my papers were very helpful to me, especially when we worked in groups. Um, whether we got good fad feedback or bad feedback, it really helped me as a writer and showed me like what I needed to do to to do better or what I was doing well um, so that I can fix it and make it make my final draft of the paper that we were working on almost perfect. So no other classes except for the sorry classes that I took in high school um, allowed us to do revision processes so I just think that it was really helpful and really benefited me really well um, and so it's, I put um, you know I'm not just trying a paper once and turning it in and scoring low. Um, because, you know, let's be honest, you won't always get it right the first time. So having many chances to work on your paper and revise it, and it was really helpful to me. Paper four, I already finished and submitted my final draft for paper four. To summarize what I talked about in the paper, I said, after taking Comp 101, I have been able to understand my thought process more clearly my writing process more clearly and also develop connections between my writing and thinking 
which has allowed me to grow not only as a writer, but as a person in society and um, a future educator. This course has taught me how to deconstruct outside sources, analyze them, and effectively communicate that to my own audience. I can confidently say this course has proactively enhanced not only my writing skills, but also the way that I think. Overall, I would give this class a rating of 9 out of 10. This is because no class is perfect, but considering my grade in this class is between a 3.7 or 4.0, really depending on how I, well I do on the final and the paper four, um, it makes me know that it was not all that hard since I did do so well in the class. And I have learned a lot that I will use for future college courses, as well as this knowledge in life. Um, as explained previously, you know, I'll use this stuff um, the, what I've learned and use it in my life and make different choices. Um, so the only reason I did rate it a 9 out of 10 and not a 10 um, is because I did spend a lot of time working on this class. I took 19 credits this class this semester um, and worked a job, so it was a lot of work for me. But this class was the one class that I worked on the most and probably had the most assignments. Um, as well as it was kind of, you know, the hardest that I worked in. Um, I was truly invested in this class, which is probably why I did so well. And it was a difficult semester, but I, we all overcame it. And that's the end. Hope you all enjoyed and thank you for listening.